Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 9 of my Let's Play of Prison Architect. So, this episode, uh, I've actually planned out a little bit of the dog kennel up here, uh, and an expansion for the canteen. We're not going to do the expansion for the canteen yet, but uh, the dog kennel will be going in this episode. Um, they're still finishing up some plumbing in this uh, general area here. So, I'll let them work on that for a little bit. Uh, my plan here is to rip down this fence. So let's let's plan this out a little bit. We'll demolish these walls and that one. And in fact, those right there as well. Um, I don't know really. Door mode should be normal on this door for now. I wonder if that gardener's been trying to get in there the whole time. But yeah, we'll be ripping down those and we'll be placing a foundation here. This is going to be outside for the kennel and this will be inside. So, uh, I don't know how well that's going to work, but we'll see. I'm hoping I can just zone it as one big kennel even though it's inside and outside. But, uh, we'll see. There, it's open. Now someone doesn't have to do that. Um, oh. Well, that would explain it, because it's on super slow speed. Come on. You guys done over here? And... No, not quite yet. They've got a ton of pipe to run still. That explains it. Uh, I've also done some planning for this other workshop. It basically just mirrored what this one was going to be. So that one's pretty much ready to go as well. I'll open it. Why are you walking all the way around that way? Uh, I guess that's my fault for not properly placing doors. Alright, so apparently that's going to take a while. But at least they ripped down that fence, which is a good thing. This guy is dismantling that tree, which is also a good thing. Um, let's go with foundations here. I'm going to go with brick, uh, because the rest of this building is brick. Um, so this will be the foundation for that. And it requires an entrance objects. We want a jail door, because I don't want... Uh, anyone else getting in here and then uh, a large jail door that leads out to there and then materials fence uh, that will come like this and then this fence will go like this around here uh, eventually this will be a wall uh, for the canteen, but since we're not building the canteen yet, uh, we'll just make that fence for now. Okay. That's working pretty well. Uh, this one should be locked open. Uh, did they not put that one? Oh, he must be doing that. Okay, then we're going to go with materials. Go concrete tiles up to that door. Uh, for the outside here, I want this to all be grass. And we'll go with... Um, who do we have our security room? Security room, yeah, that's what I thought. It's just white tiles, and we'll do the same thing for the uh, dog handling, or the kennel, rather. Uh, yeah, right like that. Perfect. Okay, let them install all of that, and we need to get power up there. So. I think the easiest way to do this is just to go like that. That should provide enough power for that whole room. And we're going to get some more lights as well. 
one there, and one there for now, and probably a couple in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sure, like that. Okay. Okay, so it should be pretty much lit up. Um, all right, now we need to do some decorating in here. So if this is going to be a kennel, we need to go with, let's see. Well, we don't technically need office desks in here, but I'm going to put some anyways. I'm going to put a couple desks for them to sit at when they're resting, I guess. Uh, I'm actually going to put a wide sofa here. I'm going to put a regular sofa right next to this. And I'm going to put a drink machine in here. Now, none of this stuff is actually required for um, the kennel. The only thing that's really required, well, if I can find the drink machine, there we go is the uh, dog cages, which I can't seem to find. Um, somewhere... dog crate. Oh, well, looks like we need to even research those. So, bureaucracy. Research that. And then we'll be able to put dog cages in. Uh, let's actually go back to our deployment, because I think this... yep, this all changed. Since we were messing with things. Uh, these rooms are staff only, definitely, because we don't want any um, prisoners in there. Yeah, so everything I placed in this room so far is completely optional and just for looks. Um, really? Let them in. Um, and then let's see what else. Can we put a tree? Is that a thing? You, you can't, like, just plant a tree? I don't, I don't know that you can, actually, to be honest. Oh, no, you totally can. Okay, good. Put a tree right there. Good. All right, so we're waiting for dogs to be completed. Um, while they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down this way, and we will do a little bit of cloning, because we are going to be getting 22 more prisoners here relatively soon. Um, so that actually goes there. There. And then this is the one that gets copied to here. I think this is the mistake we made a couple of episodes ago. I reversed them and all the doors ended up in the wrong spot. But not... not this time. Okay. So there's that going. You're going to plant that tree. Fantastic. You put up the lights. Even better. Um, yeah, so right now we're doing pretty good. Uh, we do have a bunch of prisoners showing up real quick, which is finished. Something? Nothing? Oh, dogs. Good. Now we can have dogs. Awesome. Alright, objects. So, we want dogs. Dog crate. I'm going to put a couple out here. Probably way more than we'll ever need. And some in here. Yeah, this is way more dog crates than we'll need for quite a long time. But uh, that'll at least get us uh, the ability to hire some guard dogs, which I want to get going. Um, and cut down on our drug and alcohol in this prison. So, uh, eight more prisoners arriving in 24 hours. Can we handle eight more? Eh, we'll make do. So we're at 120 with 33 guards. I'd rather be at 40 guards right now, to be honest. Um, I'm going to bump us to 
35 guards and then we'll hire five dog handlers um, so yeah that should be fine uh, and I think what I want to do honestly is maybe have a guard that's always stationed in there just because it seems like kind of a sensitive area, so. Alright, how are we doing? Threat level's low. Um, I'm pretty sure I ordered utilities to come in. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so I apparently messed up absolutely every single placement of uh, the toilets here. So, uh, rather than go back and fix it, I'm just going to go like that because I don't care. <laughs> uh, same thing over here. And over here. Because I just can't be bothered. So, good. Alright, are these dog crates in? They're sort of in? Uh, they're in enough that we could hire the guard dogs, so let's go deployment. I want some dog patrols. Um, I want one definitely that goes right outside here. Uh, I want one in deliveries and storage. So. Deliveries. Uh, one patrolling right there. And one that goes down that main hallway. And just because I think it would look cool, I want one patrolling in the forestry area. So how many is that? Is that four? Three? I think that's four. Uh, we don't really need one in the yard right now, but we could. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So we need to hire six because I want one spare just so that when the other ones are resting. Um, there's kind of like some overlap. So we'll unpause that. Dog handlers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. Oh, and they're already catching things. Well, good. Yeah. Now we have guard dogs. So that's pretty good and pretty awesome. And these guys are actually putting in the piping for these cells now that I messed up. Um, is this the re exact reverse? It appears to be. So we're at 120 of 127 right now. I think we're pretty much done with the kennel. Oop. Except I didn't actually zone that as kennel, which... Makes me kind of wonder how we were able to buy dogs, but whatever. Um, kennel. This whole area is a kennel. Is it going to actually... Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So that whole area is the kennel. Fantastic. Uh, let's actually go back and check our deployment here. And make sure that we have qualified prisoners 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. That should be 20. Okay. Good. So we're good there. Um, I definitely... Did, did that one guy ever get out of solitary? I think this is him. Oh, this, this guy... 
There's no way that the, all they found on this guy was drugs. I almost guarantee that this is the same guy from the last episode that got 48 hours for fighting. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty darn sure it is. Whoop, paused it. Didn't mean to, but I'll take advantage of that and go ahead and use the cloning tool. Um, so this one is for the cells like this to have the door on the left. And then this one is for the cells with the door on the right. Perfect. Let them work on that. Yeah, I decided not to go with another holding cell down here. Only because we don't even use the one that we have, so... And I, I've really been taking in prisoners almost every day. Um, I think there's been a couple cases where I haven't, but for the most part, every day we've taken some in. Um, how's our generators doing? Uh, that one's kind of getting maxed. Uh, this one will be a lot higher after we bring in some more stuff here. I think we need some more food because we're already at 120 prisoners. I've only got five of these. It's, uh, pretty much 20 per each so let's just get more now um, but first let's make sure that this is on this power grid and it's not okay that could be a problem because all of these are sucking down juice um, so maybe what we do here is what can we do dismantle utilities Kill that, kill that, um, and kill that. Um, and that should be fine then if we dismantle those three. Wait till some someone comes along and actually does that before we try to hook up to this other thing. And I'm going to run this electrical cable up like that so it's one short right now. Um, we should probably go back into utility view to see when that's actually done. And our poor workmen are just, they're struggling. They're struggling hard. But they always are, so they should be used to it by now. Could you guys disconnect that other one? What are you, what are you doing? Are you walking in the wall? Disconnect that. I don't know what this guy's doing. Apparently he's very busy walking in the wall. There we go. Okay, good. So then we'll put this electrical cable here. And that bought us a little bit of extra power from this power station. It should knock this one up quite a bit, but that's okay. I wish you could set a priority on things when you have a ton of stuff being built. Because, I, I mean, really, that's number one priority. Okay, yeah, so now that you can see that the power drain on these generators went up quite a bit. So, we'll add a couple more capacitors here. One, two, three. And that should essentially bring us back down um, to about where we were. So we got credit for this 10 superior beds. I wonder how close we are. Uh, I'm not really sure. Let's see. Grants, programs. Did anyone actually pass that? Three finished, zero passed. <sighs> Failures. All right. Um, 20 finished, 12 passed. Hey. Um, that's pretty good, actually. General education, only two interested in two qualified right now, so we're not going to start that one up yet. Once we finish this part, then I'll start the general education course up. And we're not going to have kitchen and safety, or kitchen safety and hygiene, because I don't want them working in the kitchen. Um, so, good. Go ahead and put in those. Fantastic. Now we can do what we originally set out to do and put in some more cookers. So, uh, 
I want a cooker here and here and I want a fridge here and here and that should be good for right now how many cooks do I have staff cooks I think we have five yeah let's get a sixth So that's that done. Um, how are we looking over here? Um, we're looking okay actually. Let's bust out our cloning tool again and we'll clone this cell. <sighs> Fail. That's gonna be completely jacked up. Let's, let's just pause it. Materials, clear indoor area. Okay, hopefully that fixes that. I guess we'll see. Uh, for cloning, let's go back. There's, there's always one mistake uh, with this cloning. And it's it's always my fault. But all right, let's hope that that actually does it, and then we'll do this cell there, there. I'll pause at this point. There and there. We'll see where that gets us. Uh, we'll let them build that and see how messed up it actually is. Alright. Do we need more tables? Uh, that's debatable, but I'm going to go with yes. I'm going to say if we put in these two right here, then we'll have four left that we can still place. And then we have to expand the canteen if we get to that point, which we probably will because that's only 16 more prisoners that can sit. So, uh, And I also think it would be a good idea at this point to put out our additional serving tables. One there and one there, so we'll get those out. And amazingly, it looks like they didn't completely butcher that, even though I did. So, good for them. Uh, let's use the cloning tool again on this. So that'll pretty much wrap up this cell block once I properly clone these. and we'll get a rough idea. I think we're going to be right around 150. Um, obviously more than that because we've already got 145 and we've already got these cells. So, what, 157? Something like that. So, not bad for only two cell blocks. Then we're going to have to figure out where we want to put more. We could probably put one up here. Not something this wide, obviously, but something over here. Uh, and I'm assuming there's similar space down here. Ooh, there's actually probably enough space down here to put another huge one. So we'll see. That, that'll that definitely be something for a later episode. Um, but for now, how many prisoners are actually working? Uh, quite a few, but... Let's see if there's more qualified than are actually working. Jobs. 20 max jobs, 20 qualified prisoners. So, 
Uh, that also means though that there's probably no extra saws for anyone. So we should probably build a few more saws in this other workshop. So workshop. Um, I think I want these to all be saws. This one, that one, that one, that one. Like that. Um, and then some presses. Really? There, 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 and there. So you can see there's more saws than there are presses, obviously. There's there's not very many presses at all. Um, but the saws have dual purpose. They're also doing the uh, wood. So that's going to definitely push this one over. I can already tell you that. But um, we'll just add some more capacitors. Uh, and then this is going to be zoned as a room workshop. Like that. And I'm probably going to put a door here. So objects, just a regular door. That way they can have a little bit easier access to the supplies uh, without making it ridiculous. going to be getting new prisoners pretty soon, but I think we've really accomplished everything we wanted to. We've got this last cell block almost completely done. Um, let's get rid of some planning here because that's annoying. Uh, and we're going to get the materials. We're going to go metal floor. Not that that's really required, but done it everywhere else so far, so might as well do it there. And they should be placing all these saws now. Very good. Eight more prisoners arriving? Yeah, we can deal with that. Very, very good. Um... Deployment. We want to set this to shared now that it's a workshop. Uh, jobs. We could fit 20 prisoners in here. I'm going to take three off of that. Try to push some over into this one. Uh, how many guards do we have? Only one right here by the metal detectors. I think we need to put a three there and two in the canteen. Yeah, that, that's a little bit better. There are a lot of prisoners in the canteen when they're eating, but hopefully they're in a good mood and um, not just going to flip out and start stabbing everyone. Yeah, see, the dogs are making a huge difference by uh, searching all the stuff that's coming in. So it's going to cut down on the amount of alcohol and booze that actually get into the prison. Hopefully. That, that's my plan, anyways. Not really, people are peeing on the floor. That's disgusting. You guys are disgusting. Oh, I don't have any tables in here. Well, that's easy enough to fix. There we go. Now it should be classified as a workshop. Good. Just in time. Uh, and those security cameras are already up and running, so that's good. Um, is he stationed in there? Let's check. Deployment. Yeah, there's a guard station in there. We want one in here, too. What'd you get in trouble for? Uh, everyone's always in trouble here. Alright, so that cell block is done. The dog kennel is also done. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, 
the second workshop is up and running. It's not done, obviously. There's plenty of expansion room available. Um, should we... I think we should put some flooring down in these workshops. Materials. Maybe... I don't want to do wood floor. I, I, I'd like to use stone someplace, but we can't because it's outside only. Um, mosaic is a little bit derpy for a, you know, for a workshop. So it's fancy tile. I have a feeling we're just going to end up with concrete floors. Well, that's what's already in there, but concrete tiles, rather. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I don't know what it was doing there, but that's not what we wanted. Uh, concrete tiles. Right like that. That'll work. Uh, for the storage area, we can do... Um, well, I mean, we did use stone out here, so I guess that's cool. Uh, the storage area, I'm going to do with wood floors. Why not? Go. There's that done. Um, yeah, that looks okay to me. Did we not do? I don't think we did this canteen yet. The floors. Maybe we'll do marble in there. Yeah, I think we will. There we go. Yeah, that, that looks pretty nice, I think. It looks professional. Sort of. As professional as a prison gets, I guess. Uh, the other thing is, this yard has kind of been bothering me for a while. Here, let's we'll do something like this. See how that looks. I like the way that looks. And they're definitely using it, so that's good. Are you guys going to install these tiles? No. Did that tree ever grow up here? Eh, it's growing. Nobody cut that down. That's not for cutting. No. They're probably all in here laying tiles. They are. Yeah. Filthy. It's filthy in here. Do we not have enough food to serve everyone? Yeah, we got about 90% fed, so that's pretty good. Alright. Whoop, we didn't put in those paths. We should probably do that. Oh, and they did finally finish those. Well, sort of. Um, concrete tiles going to there. Concrete tiles going to there. That'll work. Get rid of that planning because that's super annoying. Good. Okay, so that is pretty much done. Oh, there's junk everywhere in this prison. Um, can these guys actually keep up? It looks like we kind of need another sink, maybe. Yeah, let's go ahead and put another sink in. There we go. And I actually think what I want to do is hire a couple more janitors, because... Although the prison's not super filthy in areas, like the outside areas are getting a little bit super messy, I don't know that the janitors will actually clean that up, but at least they'll be able to go in and take care of this sort of stuff that the other prisoners aren't really 
well, the prisoners in general just aren't getting. Plus, they'll be able to take care of, like, these offices here, which the prisoners are not allowed in. So, yeah, I think that's working out well. Um, and maybe we'll do a little bit more in the cleaning cupboard. Max jobs 12. Go to 9 there. What about the other cleaning cupboard? Go with 9. Qualified prisoners 26. Good. There we go. I think that's actually 25, but that's fine. And we still got our classroom going. Um, we've got trees coming in. So yeah, th I think this is working out really well, guys. Um, let's see if there's any more grants that we could pick up. No, not a large door, jail door. Grants. Okay. Crack down on drugs, tool cleanup. We could do both of those. Um, uh, we're we're halfway through that. We don't have any armed guards, though, so that would be a little bit of a pain. Um, 200 prisoner capacity. Uh, I think before we do that, let's do crackdown drugs. Yeah, that's instantaneous because we've... I think that should be a little bit harder to get, to be honest, but... Um, yeah. This is basically just run some... Uh, secu uh, shakedowns rather on all your prisoners so maybe we'll get that one down the road um, I don't know what it takes to actually get this 10 superior beds I guess it would take some people actually passing the carpentry class but apparently that's not going to happen uh, let's accept cell block D and raise our prisoner capacity to 200 uh, we're at 156 right now we're taking in prisoners uh, I'm gonna have to do some planning on where we're going to put these additional prisoners, though, because we're pretty much... I mean, that's our cell blocks that we planned originally full. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's it for this episode. I guess I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll have some planning done as to where we could put another prison block. Um, my only fear with putting one down here is then this shower will be way too crowded. Uh, but then again, it doesn't look like it's getting that much use right now, so maybe we could do that. Let's, let's take a look up here. That one's definitely getting more use, so it would be a bad idea, I think, to put one up here. Unless we're going to build something like, I don't know, say we built another one of these down here and put made this holding cell area like a shower. We could do something like that. I don't know. That's all something for the planning stage, which I'll probably just do off camera. Uh, and then I'll come back and show you guys. Um, but that's assuming it actually fits in this area. So we'll see. Uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.